What's up, badass Black Desert Mobile fans? It's legit back, and today we're going to be showing you the Ascended Huntress versus the Awakened Windwalker. Decisions, decisions. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you check out the description down below for some additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Before we get into the material, I want to make a side note that some of these skills might not transfer over globally. Uh, this is obviously the Asian server, so some skills might vary when they come over. And some of the translations in these skills isn't identical. Shout out to Nightwing for helping me get the information for this video. And with that being said, let's dive right in. The first skill for the Hunter or Huntress is True Shot. True Shot comes with two charges on a four second cooldown time. It does do 560% damage. You do get two hits. It does do a frontal cone damage in front of the target. Its sub skills are 10% increased range and it grants one extra charge to the skill taking it from two charges to three charges. This skill is great for PvE grinding and that's about it. The first skill for a Windwalker is called Use of the Wind. It does you take 20 MP to use. And you get one charge and it has a 5 second cooldown time. You do get super armor while using this skill. It does stun the target. It does do 736% damage. It's more like a dash to the target and then a stun. It does have decent range on the dash. The sub skills is Mana Consumption negative 5. Taking the total mana consumption from 20 to 15 it does also do a dp increase of plus 20 for 10 seconds for you so it increases your total defensive power by plus 20 and then it decreases the target's movement speed by five percent for 10 seconds this ability is great for pvp not very good for pve will of the wind for hunters you get three charges it has a five second cooldown time it does 330% damage times 3, which is 990% damage. It inflicts knockback on the first hit. You get super armor while using the skill, except for arenas, and it can be used while moving. The first sub skill increases your attack by plus 20 for 10 seconds, and then the second sub, sub skill increases one extra charge to that skill. This ability is great for PvE and grinding. It's pretty good now for PvP before it wasn't relevant. So that is Will of the Wind. Wind Rondo for the Windwalker comes with two charges on a three second cooldown time. It does 116% damage times six hits, which is 700% total damage. It dashes through the target and hits multiple targets. For sub skills, it does one additional charge, taking it from two charges to three charges with a three second cooldown time. It also increases your crit by 5% for 10 seconds. This skill is great for both PvE and PvP. Razor Wind got a massive overhaul. You now it has one charge with a six second cooldown time. It does 355% damage per hit with a maximum of five hits. It comes equipped with super armor while using, knocked down on the last hit, and it has piercing attack. That's 1750% damage. If it hits the target, it also reduces their DP by negative 20 for 10 seconds for its first sub skill. For its second sub skill, it also heals you for 75 HP per hit with five hits. So that is your uh, lifesteal slash your HP recovery now for the Rangers. The range on this skill is just nasty. As far as I know, this skill has the most range of any other skill at the moment in the game. In arenas, you can hit the person as soon as you spawn. Windwalker's next skill is called Wind Resonance. It comes with two charges on a five second cooldown time. It applies knockback. It has pretty decent range. It does 855% total damage. For its sub skills, it has a 5% negative attack speed reduction for 10 seconds when it successfully hits. It increases your crit chance by 5% for 10 seconds, and this skill is good for both PvE and PvP. Flurry of Arrows got even stronger. It now comes with two charges on a 6 second cooldown time. It does 422% damage times 3 hits. That's over 1200% damage. You get super armor while using the ability, except for in arenas, and it inflicts knockdown on hit. You also get a piercing attack. For its sub skills, 
It applies a burn every second for three seconds, which is 60 damage, a total of 180 damage. And they also have an attack speed reduction of 5% for 10 seconds. Nature's Providence, the next skill for the Windwalker. This is the healing spell for the Windwalker. It comes equipped with two charges on a five second cooldown time. You get super armor while using this ability. It stuns the target on a successful hit. It does 320% damage times four, which is 1,280% damage. It does give you 60 HP per hit. This does not work in Path of Glory. I do recommend using Serret for the extra hits on this skill. And you do get more HP back as this skill levels. It does also, for a sub-skill, decrease the target's DP by negative 20 on a successful hit for 10 seconds. This is your heal, so it's needed for both PvP and PvE. Blasting Gust now comes equipped with three charges on a five-second cooldown time. It does 780% damage. You get super armor while using the skill, except for in arenas. It inflicts a daze on hit instead of a knockdown on hit, and you can use this skill while moving. For its sub-skills, it applies a negative 10% movement speed for 10 seconds on successful hit, as well as negative 20 DP for 10 seconds on successful hit, as well as the last one grants you one extra charge of that skill. So you actually go from 2 to 3. Air Slash is the Windwalker's next skill. It comes with one charge on a 6 second cooldown time. It does 292% damage times 4, which is 1,168% damage. For its sub-skills, it has attack power increase plus 20 for 10 seconds. It gets you one additional charge, bringing it to two initial charges. And it has a 5% movement speed reduction on successful hit. This is good for PvE, good for Node Wars, it's okay for arenas. One of the most annoying skills in the game, Evasive Explosive Shot, comes with two charges on a 10 second cooldown time. It does 200% damage per hit. You get invincibility while jumping and it inflicts a stun on hit. For its sub skills, one of them is it reduces the cooldown time by two seconds. The next one is it grants 200% damage to evasive explosive shot. If you hold the ability in, you get invincibility and it inflicts stun. So all you gotta do is hold that ability in to trigger the invincibility and the stun on hit. Spirit Anger comes equipped with one charge on a five second cooldown time. You get forward guard while using this. It applies knockdown on successful hit. It does 336% damage times 3, which is 1,008% total damage. For its sub skills, you get 10% increased range. It reduces the target's attack power by 20 for 10 seconds. And it does an additional attack if you hold the button in. It does the same attack as the original attack, plus it adds super armor while using. It increases the range, and all you got to do is hold the ability in. It's decent for a total range on that ability, and it's great in all scenarios. Spin Blade, I'm not a huge fan of, but it does cost 10 MP, has a 6 second cooldown time, you get 1 charge. It does decrease the target's attack speed by negative 5% for 10 seconds. It reduces the target's DP by negative 20 for 10 seconds. It does do 270% damage times 3, which is a total of about 800% damage. And it does also knock back the target on hit. Not a huge fan of this for PvE. It could be got you could get away with using this for PvP. Gust is Windwalker's next skill. You get one charge with a seven second cooldown time. You get super armor while moving and using the skill. It has a stun on successful hit. You dash through multiple targets. It does 255% times three on the damage, which is 765% total damage. For its sub skills, it has a bleed effect, which is 60 damage every second for 3 seconds, which is 180 damage. It reduces the target's DP by 20 for 10 seconds, and you can also hit one additional target. This is great for both PvP and PvE scenarios. Spinning Shot comes equipped with two charges on a 6 second cooldown time. It does 450% damage times 3, which is 1350% damage. It also has a knockback on hit. It has a, for sub skills, it has 10% increased range. It inflicts a bleed, which is 60 damage every second for 3 seconds, which is a total of 180 damage. It does have a decent amount of range on this skill as well. And it also reduces the target's AP by negative 20 for 10 seconds. White Wind comes equipped with 2 charges on a 7 second cooldown time. 
It has a knock up on the last successful hit. It has 258 times 2% damage, which is 516% total. For its sub skills, it increases your total attack power by 20 for 10 seconds. It applies a bleed of 60 damage every second for 3 seconds, which is a total of 180 damage. It has a decent range. It's good for both PvE and PvP. Descending Arrows doesn't quite pack the punch it used to. It comes equipped with one charge on an 11 second cooldown time. It does 250% damage times 6, which is 1,500% damage. It does grant you super armor while using, except for in the arenas. It does hit bound on hit, so it binds the target. For its sub skills, it does increase your total defense by plus 20 for 10 seconds, as well as reducing the target's movement speed by negative 10% for 10 seconds on successful hit. And lastly, you do get one extra charge to the skill, taking you from one charge to two. Recreation comes equipped with one charge on a five second cooldown time. You get super armor while using this skill. It applies a knockdown on successful hit. It does 671% damage times 2, which is 1,342% total damage. For its sub skills, it has a 10% increased range. It has a plus 20 DP increase for you for 10 seconds. And this is great for both PvP and PvE. So the Windwalker actually gets one additional skill, and this last skill is the ultimate, and it's called Spirit Binding. You get one charge. It has a 15 second cooldown time. It has a bind plus a knockdown on successful hit. You get super armor while using this skill. It has two hits, 350% damage per hit, which is 700% total damage. For your sub skills, it decreases the target's DP by negative 20 on a successful hit for 10 seconds. The second sub skill is a three second cooldown time reduction, taking it from 15 to 12 seconds total. And then it has a 10% increased range on this skill. This skill is amazing for arenas. It's not very good anywhere else. Lastly, we have the heals for both classes. I'm unable to see exactly what both of them do, but both of these do give heals. For the Huntress class, it does heal you 100 HP every two seconds for 10 seconds. It increases your total AP by plus 40 for 30 seconds. And your movement speed is plus 10% for 30 seconds upon using the skill. And it reduces the cooldown time on evasion by 2 seconds. For the Windwalker, I can't quite see the skill because it's not unlocked. However, that is the Huntress and the Windwalker. If you, if for my opinion, they're two totally different classes. The Windwalker is more of a, an arena class. And the Huntress is more for node wars and for grinding. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in, this, in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and with that being said i will see you next time